Picture this, your free-spirited sibling has decided to come visit you out of the blue for 60 days. They ask you to use your personal laptop for the duration. They, you reluctantly give in, but only want them to have access for the next 60 days. You're hoping that limiting their access may give them the motivation they need to get out of your house. Question is, how do you do that? Well, there's a command for that. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm gonna show you how to view and change a user's password expiry information in Linux. Stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Make sure you let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. All right, let's dig in. All right, so let me go ahead and shrink my face here. And the command that we're talking about today is the ch the change command, or what we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna let me go ahead and run a what is what is change. All right now, uh, the what is command allows you to see just briefly what a command does. I've got a video on that, so go check that out if you have more questions. But ch uh, the change uh, change command is a, allows you to change a user's password expiry information. So if we want to limit their um, limit how long their password is good for we can do that. If we want to make it uh, change on next uh, next login, we can do that. Or, you know, if we want to set how long they have to, uh, how long they have to wait in between uh, changing their passwords, we can go ahead and do that. Now, and today I actually want to go ahead and show that to you. Now, the first thing that I want to go ahead and do is show you is I want to show you the change tack L. And the change tack L command, what that's going to do is it's going to give you a listing, a, lo a long listing of the information in regards to their password. And we can see that my particular user, uh, admin user, uh, their last password change was April 24th, 2023. The password does not expire. It does the, pa the uh, password does not go inactive and it, the account never expires. The minimum number of days between password changes is zero. So that means that you can change it whenever you want. The maximum number of days between password change is 99,999, which is the default. Uh, same thing for the uh, minimum days between password changes. And then the number of days uh, for a warning for password expires is seven. So you can you can use this command to get that information. And if you're gonna do it for another user, you'll need to use the sudo change L user command. Well, not user command, use, uh, the user named user. I didn't think that went through. Oops, I think I put my password in wrong. All right, perfect, there we go. And you can see that there, so pretty cool. All right, so the first thing that I wanna go ahead and actually show you is I actually wanna show you how to require a password change when, the, when they first log in or force a user to change their password on the next login. So it's pretty easy, you're gonna do sudo, and then you're gonna do, um, you're gonna do change, and you're gonna do tack D, and then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and set that to zero, and then you're gonna go ahead and put in that user's information. Now, if we go ahead and run back that command per user, we can see that now the password must be changed uh, the next time. So if the user tries to go log in, they're gonna have to change their password when they log in, and it's gonna have to be something different than what their password previously was. Cool, right? All right, so, now let's go ahead and talk about changing the maximum number of days between password changes. So this is going to limit how long their password is good for. You know, it's it's pretty common for employers to limit the length of time that your password is good for. Uh, for example, 90 days is a common one, you know, 60, something like that, maybe 120. Uh, it's going to vary by employer and, you know, for what they need and things like that. So to go ahead and do that, let's clear this out. Let's do sudo change. We're gonna do TAC M, TAC capital M for this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in, let's just put it 90. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do user. Now, if we run the sudo user, I'm sorry, change TAC L user, we can see that now, instead of this being the 99,999 days, it is now 90 days, which is going to be, um, I'll make it to where it's going to make them change their password in 90 days. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be based on the last word, uh, the last password change date. Now, let me just show you sudo change tack L admin user. We can see here. So say, for example, if we had changed it here, it would go based on the last password change date. But because this, this user already has their, 
um, their password reset to where they need to change it on the next boot, that's going to go ahead and be in effect. So, um, but if we say if we did it for admin user, it would require them to do it in uh, 90 days. So cool, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go on to the last thing that I want to go ahead and show you. Um, and that's going to be changing the minimum number of days between password changes. So this means that this num this many number of days will need to pass in order for us to be able to go ahead for that user to be able to go ahead and change their password. So say if it's, for example, if it's set to one, once they change their password, they will have to wait at least one day, which may not, which may, may not be effective just depending on uh, the person, but you know, you can set it to other numbers like, you know, maybe seven, seven days or something like that. Uh, just to make it a little bit more inconvenient for them to change their password back to the original one. Now, and, and keep in mind, there are there are other methods for, um, you know, for setting, you know, more uh, more of the criteria for passwords, but that's not something I'm going to cover in this video. And personally, I've never really, I, I don't have a lot of users that are using it on mine because it's really just me. Uh, but if that's something that you'd like me to cover, you know, if, if I have enough interest in it, that's something I could definitely do in the future. So let me know down in the comments if that's something that you want to see. But now going ahead and changing those numbers of days. Now, by default, the number of days is going to be set to zero because you can change your password whenever you want, which we can actually see here with the admin user. And that's the same thing up here with the uh, with just the regular user as well. So let me clear this out. This one's this one's super easy as well. Just change tack m, and then we're going to go ahead and do we're going to set that to let's just set it to seven. And then we're going to do user. Perfect. Now we do a sudo change tack l and we're going to do user and voila we can now see that the minimum number of days between password changes for them is now seven so now if they put their if they change their password they're going to have to wait seven days before they can change it um they can change it again so and keep in mind there's always going to be pros and cons to every uh to every you know password option that you have so just keep in mind that you want to can you want to make those considerations before you're actually setting up password policy so Pretty cool stuff, right? I, I, my mind was blown the first time that I saw that I could do this. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty easy. And again, Linux has a command for it, which is always the case, right? Um, so awesome. Now, make sure you check out this other video in my um, from my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.